Good to see you. Let's warm up and review the basics. The basics. A practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Get in position. Show me how you chain ground attacks. Very well. Bear in mind you can redirect your next attack. Since you propel your opponent away with your last strike, that's the end of the chain. At close range, the sweep is good against smaller foes. You can also chain attacks afterwards. An airborne enemy cannot retaliate until they're back on their feet. Make use perfect to cripple agile enemies. Remember that you move forward with each attack. If you want to keep your distance, the sweep allows you to maintain your position. This doesn't suit your style. But some situations might require you to take such precautions. <laughs> precautions? Hmm. My point exactly. You might as well do all these in one go. Do you remember what I told you about propelling enemies up in the air? An airborne enemy cannot retaliate until they're back on their feet. <laughs> At least that got in your head. Let's go over your upward attacks. Use them to hit targets above you, but also to propel ground enemies in the air. Word of warning. Using the same upward attack twice in a row will lessen its effectiveness. You can also use an upward attack in a fighting combination. Be sure you're within range to strike. through with your attacks lets you stay in the action. Remember, Rashava, even a constant win can carve a mountain. Now then, the forward slide. It's a chance to engage... Closing the distance. That now let's combine everything. Chase the end. upward attacks. The same one twice in a row will not give you the same propulsion. I understand. I'm hoping you get something from this, like maybe you'll get some more like currency or something. Now for a specialty of yours. Acrobatic techniques. Ready for the next lesson? I'm always ready. You know about mid-air combinations, but there are other options. Try to reach the flying enemy.
Easy enough. You cannot chain attacks after this move, but it should prove itself useful in certain situations. Alternatively, you can aim at enemies directly below you. Mind your position. Now that's a new way to lift up the enemy. You can send the enemy up even... I don't even care for hitting the dialogue. It just shows... This technique is valuable. Should you see a use for it? If I rush to the ground afterwards, I can make... <laughs> for that, you know more than I do. Huh. Very funny. Sargon, remind me what our ancestors said about Athra. Athra flows through the universe and all living things. As much as weapons are the extension of our bodies, Athra is the extension of our will. Precisely. You've been listening. Athra can be channeled, intensified in your blades, until they are saturated with energy. Athra-charged attacks have several advantages. They can be destructive and even increase your focus. <laughs> I can see your Athra radiating. You've embraced the teachings of our ancestors. You've come a long way since I met you. But mastery is a never-ending journey. Now then, focus your Athra in the middle of a ground combination. Right in between moves. I'll give it a try. <laughs> See that. It's effective, and if they do not break, they will certainly. Are you also able to? I've practiced the technique. Perfect. These are strong attacks, and they knock back the enemy, marking the end of the combination. With proper training, Athra, the everlasting blaze, is yours to channel and control. No fighting style rules above all. The greatest combatants understand adaptability. Knowing your opponent's strengths is key to bringing them down. Take massive opponents, for example. They react differently to upward attacks. Give it a go. My strikes knock them back, but they're too heavy for me to lift them off the ground. Worse still, some opponents can ignore the recoil of your strikes because of their build or magic. You must be vigilant, as this means they can counterattack during your fighting combinations. Are there even worse enemies out there? 
None of my attacks have any effect on them. Not showing signs of pain doesn't mean they didn't get hurt. And careful what you wish for. The Citadel is full of mysteries. We're not out of the woods yet. And one more thing. Some enemies can recover while you're in the middle of your combination. Some can parry your next strike, cutting short your chain of attacks. You can find out for yourself. I see more and more the benefit of sending the enemy up in the air whenever that's possible. But you know, that's not always possible. The best defense is not always offense. Defensive options, this will be the parries, I'm assuming. A warrior who throws himself into the fray without defensive skills can win battles, but never wars. It's not the first time I've heard you say that. The goal is to structure combat in such a way as to hit the enemy without ever being hit in return. Your dodges, backwards and forwards. strike in a ground combination does not allow these actions you can also end your while in the air <laughs> Time it here we go. Jumping while chaining attacks can also be used offensively. Parrying is the best defense against. can be parried if you're attacked from both parrying and dodging are not unique to us sargon you can expect enemies who can i said we're doing all these in one go you already know this well how recovering your balance after striking is when you're most vulnerable after a successful dodge the odds are in your favor. Launch a counterattack right at that moment. could do this all day long. Attacking from behind is also advantageous, and even more so when the enemy is already engaged. Careful against fast foes. They may turn around and punish your attempt at a sneak attack. Only if they can match my speed. 
You can kick while sprinting to propel the enemy and to make a loud. Sprinting allows you to close the distance. You can still perform an upward attack. Artaban, I want to perfect my parrying technique. What do you have for me? The art of parrying requires perfect time. Get ready to parry. As you may have discovered, projectiles can also be returned to... Do be vigilant. Once more, not all projectiles can be parried. Some moves give you better opportunities to counter. in that direction. I thought I could parry from behind the two, but apparently I can't. Few enemies are able to recover from your rush of our counters. Actually, I named them downburst counters. Whatever you say. <laughs> I wish I could parry any attack. You know that's impossible. Even fortunately, your senses are sharp. This isn't the whole day's lesson, right? There is a lesson in every failure. That's what you get when you miss a parry. Getting hit this... Well, I can... The everlasting blaze, the unifying energy that interlaces the cosmic tapestry. It's the flame that gives and takes, embodying the very core of existence. Its presence and blessing extend throughout the cosmos. By discerning the cadence of Athra's flow, you can better navigate exercises and cures. Athra bestows stability and longevity upon those who seek its guidance. Sargon, your Athra burns brighter with each successful technique and can be unleashed all at once. Athra Surge, I've used it before. Get in position and start channeling it. Conversely, taking hits will break your focus and your Athra will... Riskier actions, such as parrying and launching, try to parry this enemy and see how... Keep in mind that dodging is safer, but it will not build up Athra. Parry whenever you can. Let's talk about the Athra Surge. Since it has dodging properties, 
It's ideal. It's useful for breaking down defenses and can stop attacks that are usually. Every warrior prides themselves on developing their ultimate techniques, but you can also learn from them. Keep in mind that Athra ignites the soul, gracefully moving through unending transformation, harnessing and charging its strength is merely a single expression of its multifaceted nature. Fine work. You now know all the basics. If you learn new moves, perhaps we can figure out together how to use them. Good to see you. I don't think I'd be able to get this stuff. Alright. 